Welcome to Selenium Master Learn from Industry Experts video series. This video is about reporting automation test framework results on Grafana dashboard. In the past few weeks, I received many emails about reporting automation test result. When you develop an automation framework, it is very important to design a best reporting mechanism so that you can report your test result in continuous integration or on a dashboard. If you included JUnit or TestNG as part of your continuous integration environment, the TestNG and the JUnit has built-in reporting tools. You can utilize the system report. However, if you have smoke test and regression test, you need to use a best practice to display your test result on a dashboard. There is an open source monitoring tool called Grafana. Grafana is open platform for beautiful analytics and monitoring. So you can export your test result to Grafana dashboard. So DevOps team can look at the dashboard and make decision if they want to release the software to production or not. The Grafana dashboard is very customizable. So you can include different types of charts, like line chart or bar chart. So in this video, I will explain JUnit test ng and Grafana dashboard test result export. Now I have one JUnit demo. So in this JUnit demo, the system will open Google website, Yahoo website, and the Bing website, and verify that the site is opened. So now let me run the test. So browser is opened, now yahoo.com opened. Now it's a Google. So basically, I tested three websites. As you see on this console, I have test Yahoo, test Bing, test Google. So if your JUnit test is part of the continuous integration or continuous deployment, then you can see the result easily or you can export the test result. On IntelliJ IDE, you can directly export test result on this console output. So I click on export test result. I can choose where I want to put the file. Let's say I want to put the file on the desktop. So click on OK and then open export file in browser. So click on OK. So this is the test result. As you see on this uh, screen, 
So I have three test cases. And this is test Yahoo, test Bing, test Google. So this is how you can export JUnit test report. Now let's look at the test ng. So I have one test ng automation framework. When you run test ng on this XML definition, you can define emailable report. The main difference between JUnit and the test ng is that on test ng, in the XML file, you can define what type of report you would like to generate after the test. So now I run the test and we can see the result. Now the site is open. So I'm gonna run two test cases. One is adding client and the other one is deleting client. Once the test is done, browser will be closed. So as you see here on the screen, I have two test cases, both cases passed, and one test ran in four seconds, another test ran in three seconds. In the XML definition, I defined emailable reporter. So in this test output, I can open this emailable report. So right click, open in browser. Let's say I want to open this on Chrome. So as you see here, I defined a regression test. I have two test messages, both passed and total time. And this is the report. So the background color is green. That means there is no failure. And this report template can be customized on test ng XML file. So I click on everyone. And this is the Unix uh, start time. So as mentioned, if you have JUnit and a test ng in CI or CD environment, your Bamboo or Jenkins can generate the report and display the result. However, what is the best practice of displaying test result on a dashboard or on a monitoring system? One of the tool you can use is the Grafana dashboard. So now I will explain how you can use Grafana dashboard to report your automation test result. The Grafana dashboard is highly customizable. So you can display different tests and you can also change the color of the chart. So now let me open the Grafana dashboard. So this is the Grafana dashboard. Now it's last 24 hours. I'm gonna change this to edit. The time range, I want to do 48 hours. As you see on this screen, so at this time I have four test cases passed and this time I have two test cases. On this one, I have total three and one failed. So failure is one and total pass is three. On this one, I have total passes six and one is failed. So this is how a dashboard looks like. It is a Selenium Master General Test Automation Project. So when you have dashboard like this, 
you can choose what type of report style you want to include. On the general section, you can include the information for a dashboard. On the matrices, you can define what type of test. Let's say I exported the test result into database. Then I defined created on total pass and total fail. And you can also include the X, Y, and then the legend. You want to show the values or other information. And then in the display, you can choose bar chart or, or dot or line charts like this. So I always prefer the uh, bar chart. That's very good. So now let me explain how you can use this. Let's say I have a database table. The table name is test matrix. So currently in the test matrix, I have 10 records. So I want to insert one more record here. Let's say insert into test matrix and then values so I can include the test run ID and let's say total pass I can define like the eight test cases and total fail is two then test is I can do some more test and then they created on I can add one more. Let's say now it's time is 803. So 2018 June. Let's say this one is um, 8. Now I can choose a time. Let's say 800. So now let me execute this code and let's see the result on the dashboard. Okay, so one row affected. Now let's make sure the row is inserted. Now this test result. Let's say you run your JNU test or test ng test and you export your test result into database. That way you have test execution history on the database so you can always look at your history uh, data. So now let's open the Grafana dashboard. So I'm going to refresh this. As you see here, now this is the time. This is 8. Uh, now total is 10. So that means I have two failures. So basically, I always choose the Grafana dashboard to display the automation framework uh, test result. So this is the best practice of reporting your test result to management and DevOps team. So overall, in this video, I explained how you can report test results on JUnit, TestNG, and Grafana dashboard. Selenium Master is the industry expert in software development and test automation framework design. If you want to learn cutting edge test automation technologies and pursue your IT career, join over July 2008 Software Development Engineer in Test and Job Placement Program. Thank you.